Hello, friends, and welcome to another figure study where we appreciate the form in Transformers. Today, it is finally time to take Technobots and make a Computron. And we are going to do two comp, well, actually, three Computrons. We're going to do the default Combiner Wars Computron, we're going to do the Perfect Effect upgraded Computron, and then we're going to do my personal favorite, which is a combination of perfect effect and fan moding stuff but anyway here we have the combiner wars technobots team if you are curious in seeing the video on all of these guys there'll be a link down below and i'll just toss one up here i guess and um yeah if you're so inclined i imagine you're probably at this point much more interested in seeing the combined mode though so i'm gonna launch right into that Right, so this is where things get a little tricky just because of the logistics involved with the camera. But here we have Combiner Wars Computron in his combined mode with the Hasbro hands and feet with their tilty ankles and all that good stuff. So yeah. I I like this mode. I think Computron actually looks pretty cool. I'm, you know, I dig the overall proportions. I dig the the new hands and feet are nice. I'm not going to lie, though, I do prefer the upgraded Perfect Effect ones. But overall, Computron looks good. He is very obviously a repainted Superion in the middle, which is a shame. But other than that, I think he's he's actually pretty solid. And I'm probably one of a handful of people who feels this way, but I actually really do think having Scrounge and Cybex up in the shoulder as like a, a shield thing, I, I actually kind of dig that look. It's completely unnecessary. And you can remove it if you want. Like so. And you could just whatever with this. But, uh, you know, I think I actually kind of dig having this having this up there. But, uh, you know, for now, we'll just leave it as is. So, yeah. Computron looks good. I'm not a fan of the very obvious Superion gun. I'm not a fan of the very obvious Superion torso. But I do think that the color looks good. And that the color actually... Oddly enough, is one of the main things that attracted me to this set. Because, pardon me a moment. We'll bring him a little closer. And all his totally not superior on goodness. He's got a very kind of toyetic look to him. Which is weird to say, because, I mean, obviously he's a freaking toy, but... He just, I don't know, it's just something about these colors, the, the little bits on the side here, and just all of it together. I actually think it looks really cool. I really do like the overall color scheme on this guy. Now, of course, he's got the exact same details overall as Superion in the center here, with like just that same chest. These designs are new, and I think they look pretty good. But, uh, you know, overall, he is Superion. And get in close here. You can see that is totally just Combiner Wars Superion head. It doesn't look bad. I mean, I, I still really like the detail on it. And the gold visor looks good. But uh, yeah, it's Superion. And of course, that torso. I do like the yellow, white, and blue designs on the sides, though. And yeah, he's, he's not... Not like the strongest torso, but overall he looks good. But looking at some of the other stuff, um, here we have <sighs> Strafe. Already forgot. <laughs> Strafe in his limb mode is kind of uh, the problem. I have one major problem with Strafe, and that's the same problem that everyone has with Strafe, and that's these stupid wings. Because 
they only fold this way. Which means, thanks to this, uh, thanks to the way this is all built, you only get one joint that you can use for his elbow. You can't really, you know, you could break his arm, but that's about it. And that stinks. I really wish that there were a way to fold these the other way around, or that these knee pad things weren't there so that you could actually get a proper double jointed elbow on there. But you can't. That's all we got. So yeah, I mean, you can flip it around the other way, but then these wings are now in the front and they look silly and get in the way even more. So yeah. I mean, other than that, though, he does make a decent looking arm. And honestly, I've kind of learned to pose around it, so I'm not quite that bothered by the, uh, oops. I'm not quite that bothered by the lack of uh, additional elbow articulation. I think it's all right. And Afterburner, he makes a decent arm. I also, I like his, uh, his arm mode where he's got, you know, this nice chunky shoulder. It's nice chunky shoulder. And, you know, overall nice looking arm, nice chunky forearm. The thing that bugs me about Afterburner is he's got that huge gap where the elbow bends and it just, it's a shame. Like, you can, you know, fold the arms, the smaller arms down and stuff, but it's, it, it could, it could look better. It could look a lot better. So, yeah. And then, of course, we have Nose Cone, who, as I've said, actually, I think makes a good looking leg. I kind of like the giant drill knee pad. And then Lightspeed, who is, you know, the mold we've seen before, <laughs> but he's a decent leg. Overall, I think, you know, default Combiner Wars Computron is not bad. If I weren't horribly spoiled on upgrade kits, I would be, like, very content with this set. Even with Scrounge. And I will say, actually, let me detach uh, Strafe real quick, because it's just easier. One of the things that I think is really nice about the way Scrounge and uh, Cybex line up is, like, they actually line up pretty darn well so that the Strafe's guns go straight up along here and into Cybex's uh, wings, which actually... Just, it, it lines up very nice. Well, that was annoying. My camera decided to cut out without any kind of warning. Pull it back just a little bit more. So yeah, camera ran out of space without warning me, and then the cheap tripod that I've been using broke, so yay! We're just batting a thousand. Anyway, show must go on and all that. So yeah, Combiner Wars Computron, stock Combiner Wars Computron, I think is actually not a bad set. He's pretty cool. You know, I, if I weren't spoiled by the upgrade kits, I would be per perfectly happy with this. With, you know, the minor exceptions of Strafe's obnoxious wings and the fact that his torso is so obviously superior. Which wouldn't be a problem if I didn't already own Superion. But uh, anyway, yeah, so that's the stock out of the way. Now we're going to take a look at him with upgrades. Now, upgraded Computron. This I really like. I mean, I've always liked the... You know, I've, I've enjoyed the perfect effect hands and how they add just, you know, more detail, more digits. The feet. Yeah can safely tilt this down because of this stupid broken thing. The feet are nice and big, have ball joints in them so you get a little bit more control over 
how things position. I will say I had to tighten up the ball joints a little bit when I got mine. Um, nothing major, but there is that, so something to be aware of. But yeah, I like the feet. I like how you can get better angles out of the feet, although it is a little bit more difficult with nose cone because of just the way he transforms into a leg. It gives you a little bit less clearance. So the posability on nose cone's leg is a little bit more limited just because of that blockiness. Um, and then you have the big old gun, which does look good from that angle. And it's interesting, the hands actually, the perfect effect hands, are better at holding that gun than I would have expected. Like, I had some issues with Superion holding the regular gun with the perfect effect hands, but I also have like the older model perfect effect hands. But this one, if you are able to push it in all the way, it actually gets to a point where it clicks and it'll click into place in the palm, so it'll actually be held a lot nicer. Um, granted, you still have to kind of futz with the hand to make sure it can, you know, hold it okay, but if it clicks down, then it's not going to flop out. It might still turn either way, but uh, yeah, not too bad. And actually, I do like the darker burgundy color here. It's not... Bring him a little closer here. The color on the hands and legs, like the color on the hands and feet, not the same as the color on the uh, other burgundy parts on the combiner, but it's close enough that I don't think it matters. And also you've got, you know, the hands and feet both match, so that's fine. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have him just stand straight because that pose is proving to be a little difficult for him to maintain. And I don't want him uh, flopping over while I'm trying to do this, so we'll just reposition everything. Sorry about that. Again, another apology. I ended up just taking all the limbs off because it's just easier to get all the details in there. So yeah, default superior on head just to show you that you do have that option, but as this is a perfect effect head, you can hinge it up and eh, stay straight and flip this around and spinning this face around is a lot easier on this than it is on the uh, superior head which is nice and then you just pop down and there you have the non-visored face do i have that on straight i think i have that slightly that's ever so slightly skewed to one side. There we go, that looks more centered. So yeah, then you have the non-visored face, and this I actually prefer to have for Computron because I think that looks pretty darn cool. And I like the molding on here. Not that the molding on the default head is bad, but uh, I do like the molding here, and I like that gold visor and the reddish face. Plus, he has a neck! You can look up, and kind of looks a little funky from if you angle it up too far. But still, it's nice that he has a neck. You can look up and down. Now, the actual chunky torso, I also really like. I think this looks really good. It bulks him out quite nicely. And uh, hadn't mentioned it in the uh, default version, but uh, he's got afterburners guns on his legs to kind of fill out his thighs, and it's kind of okay, but kind of silly looking. Yeah. But uh, this, I do like this chest piece and head. I like how this bulks him out more, and it really makes him look much more distinct from Superion. With or without the upgrades, I think this really does help him stand out. And it's nicely detailed. I mean, there's some nice molding in there. The color is not bad. It's not the same kind of color as you see really anywhere else in the figure, but since it's in the chest, I don't really mind it so much. And then, of course, you have the white and the blue, which aren't quite the same as what you have here, because this is more of like a, almost like a grayish color, like a very, very subtle gray. And this blue is not quite the same blue, but it's a decent enough attempt to match. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Let me get his limbs back on. Well, yeah, gonna get his limbs back on. Be right back. So there we have default Computron with the upgrades, and I really do like how this kind of chunks him out a little bit more. 
it looks really good to me. And yeah, the color of the hands and feet is a little bit darker than any other color there, but again, because it is the hands and feet, they all kind of match each other, so that's fine. And I think it's overall close enough to either, if you want to say the brown on nose cone or the kind of purpley color on, uh, I keep wanting to say Metal Storm on Scattershot, it, it works well enough for me. But I just, I really love that chest, and I think that head is really great too. Oh, and also when I was pointing out the thicker thigh gun things, also there's Lightspeed's shotgun attached to his leg there. So yeah, that is default Computron. Now, last little bit, I'm going to be taking a look at my sort of fan-moded... I'm sorry, that's not default Computron, that's upgraded Computron. Now we're going to take a look at upgraded Computron with some fan moding. So yes, we'll be right back. And here we have fan moded Computron. It was more or less like the upgraded Computron with some, some minor tweaks, just like the front of light speed tilted up to give him a little bit better of like a knee. Moved, uh, angle this down a little bit so you can see. Moved the canopy section of nose cone up and put the drill on the front kind of flipped it around so that kind of makes it pop out a little bit more as and it doesn't like get as in the way of the knee there plus i just like how it extends that yellow all the way down the front of the leg i like that detail and then the arms are mostly the same uh, i took the the superion gun or default computron gun or whatever you want to call it and attached it to the new perfect effect gun to give it more of like a double barreled effect and then took the afterburner guns on the thighs and tilted them sideways and down slightly so that they bulk out the thighs a little bit without looking quite as overt so bringing this a little closer you can kind of see that's how I've got the guns attached. That's how I've got nose cones set up and light speed. And there's the uh, double barreled gun thing. The attempt at a double barreled gun thing. And yeah, uh, the only other difference there is just kind of re-angled afterburners canopy sections so that the wheel is going up over the shoulder because I actually like how that uh, reposition him here I like how that mirrors what you get with scrounge and cybex how you've got like that slightly higher up like more pronounced shoulder on both sides while still not actually being really that symmetrical and in case you were wondering I do actually have everything else stored on him, including the shield portion of the Superion gun and the shotgun for light speed. Those are just tucked away on Computron's back. They actually fit quite nicely back there. You've got I've got the shield on the uh, on the landing gear here. And that just fits in there really nicely and then the shotgun just goes straight up there and it, uh, it all tucks away pretty darn well. So yeah, with a little bit of fan moding and a couple of upgrades, you're, uh, you're left with a pretty freaking awesome Computron, I have to say. I do, I do really like this guy. I mean, I liked default Computron, but honestly, I'm kind of super into the upgraded and slightly fan moded Computron. I just. He's. You know, default was good. This, I think, is better. He just looks a little bit chunkier, looks a little bit more don't want to mess with. <laughs> and again, I, I really like the overall look of everything. I think the torso 
really goes well with this set. It really just kind of makes that toy kind of feeling. It, it, it helps to not enhance the toy feeling necessarily, but it maintains it. So you don't really lose that, uh, that whole aesthetic. He, you know, the, the Takara version, not, I don't think the Takara version looks bad by any means, but there's something about just the, the toyetic look that they have going here, even with the upgrades, that I think is really, really fantastic. So yeah, Combiner Wars Computron with the Perfect Effect upgrade kits is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Quite happy indeed. So anyway, that has been my look at Combiner Wars Computron and Combiner Wars Computron with the two Perfect Effect upgrade kits, which I don't remember the serial numbers of off the top of my head, but they will be in the description down below. So yes, that is it. Love this guy. Thank you everybody so much for watching. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, any com- <clears throat> pardon me. Any combination of those three would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art, even if it has to be enhanced with third-party products, is more than meets the eye. <laughs>